Pa 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 uh, I, I did discuss, when I played as the zombie healer, I did discuss that a pair of quality players with this little setup, especially now that I've worked out that you can, in fact, you can heal and shoot at the same time. If you're actually working as a team together, you could really quite dominate, dominate the field, I suspect. So I suppose it's a bit like the old classic... Oh yeah, I've I've won and I'm um, getting lots and lots of coins, lots of coins, lots of coins, lots of coins. My pirate zombies will end you. That is a definite possibility. I bet I suppose arguably if you get a trio and you have like two healers and a tanky character up front. Oh boy. Two healers and a citron would probably make quite good tactics. But that's not hugely important at this exact moment in time. The pirates are somewhat snipery based. Uh, I don't. Oh, the pirates are coming in. What I oh, I will probably strive to show you this at some point in the not too distant future. But pirates have like a shotgun type thing, and if you zoom in, which I ah, oh, do you know what? I didn't zoom in for a prolonged period in the other one, but it doesn't. It's a weird one. Obviously, zooming in does make you that little bit more accurate, but it doesn't... This is the sort of game where it doesn't feel 100% necessary to zoom in. So it feels like, actually, you're probably okay if you just sort of go, nah, I won't bother zooming in. Because of its third-person nature, I feel. But, with the pirate, you actually get an entirely different weapon. Uh, if you zoom in, so you sort of, it's that sort of idea of a big shotgun or Titan spread and you get a nice, um, a nice sort of ranged weapon. So you can kind of, it, it's a very good character. I very much enjoyed the pirate. I thought the pirate was an excellent character. So we've done a couple of plant modes. So I'm, I'm thinking... Uh, He's, he's just uh, he's just uh, suggested it as well. Um, we could possibly join the zombies. Although you've only really seen the sunflower, haven't you? So I'll tell you what we need to do, really. I think we need to change character. That's a definite. Character select. Now, technically I can customise them with appearance options. So there's no hats available. But I do have an e-grin if I want to make my uh, my sunflower electronic. I don't have any options there. I don't have any options there. So I literally the only option I have is the e-grin. That's fine. Uh, abilities. So I can change... I can't actually change abilities. But at some point, if I unlocked the appropriate things, I could probably change my, up the abilities. That's lovely. Right. So I said Colonel Corn was pretty awesome. Now, I, I know uh, Mob Cobb. I've seen what Mob Cobb can do. Uh, I've seen what Curtain or Corn can do. So I'm, I'm personally most interested in Barbecue Corn, who's got uh, his sort of foil armor and everything else. So boom, and let's have a go. I absolutely adore that move. It's insane beyond comparison. Whoa! Flaming shots of barbecue sauce! Pow! 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 pow. Face my barbecue corn of justice! Now, ah, what's this little exclamation mark here? Let's talk to Dandelion. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I saw a pea shooter come out of the customer station booth the other day. He's my favourite plant, he's so cool. If I actually met a pea shooter, I would probably explode. Okay, well, I, I know what that suggestion is. And that suggestion is be a pea shooter. Uh, let's be law pea, because it's slightly different to what you saw earlier as a pea shooter. It's still it's still the same abilities. I'm assuming that's where customising the abilities comes into play. 
but you do get slightly different because this is a very very this is the sort of one where you probably do want to zoom in to make sure you hit something with that uh, six shooter because I don't I think the standard P I, know I said I was going to be the cowboy P just for the sake of it but I'm reasonably certain this standard P shooter yeah you get a P cannon of 10 and possibly a little bit more of an explosion it's difficult to say if that's just an effect or whether that's going to be actually inside that radius of shot you get yourself um, damage on the enemy however the, P the six shooter very much a single shot you got to be very very accurate with that thing and, oh that's interesting let's have a look at the reload for that sort of brings out the hands I don't know what else he does but he kind of brings out the hands and just just kind of wiggles around really does he? he doesn't do anything that drastically specific now do I pay sure oh my gosh I'm your biggest fan oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm so excited Oh, he genuinely did explode with happiness and coinage and gold. Uh, world options. I don't really know what the world options are, but I don't need them. Let's go back to barbecue corn so that we can do a level as my barbecue corn friend. Come on, Colonel Corn. So I will show you the moves first. This is kind of a big explosive boo maneuver. And that is technical terms. Boof maneuver is the official technical term. For what happens there. It's just a big manoeuvre. We've seen the flip, but it's so much fun we can do it again. And then finally, this one is just kind of peculiar. You throw out a hot potato and then bombard with butter! The butter bombardment! But I have <laughs> I fucking love that move. I absolutely love that move. Let's do another quest. Because this time we should be able to do the quest as my big butter friend. My big, big butter friend. Yep. If I, unless something else takes precedence, I feel like big butter friend might be the title of the episode that this section encompasses. As is so often the way, I don't know precisely how many episodes it's going to be split into because I don't know how long I'm going to be playing and I don't know how long I have been playing. Probably about an hour. My guess is about an hour. We'll see how accurate I am when dealing with the editing. Initiate greeting number seven. What's up? Okay, fireworks of the ancients. So there's only there's actually only six quests apparently. Other, oh, I can do it on a different difficulty. But trust me, from the lost footage, you don't want me playing on anything other than normal, because I can't do it. I'm sorry, but there's the fact. The AI is too good for me if it's anything other than normal. Uh, I know this because the AI was too good for me on normal. Uh, so <laughs> it's never going to work on a higher difficulty, is it? Anyway, Spec Ops. Head to Zen Peak and acquire, acquire even fireworks of the ancients. Day part 3000 has a surprise for you, cadet. Another quest. It appears that Dr. Zombos and his zombies have gone into Zomberbia to ransom Ellens. Their base will be undefended. This is an unexpected opportunity, a chance to strike a crippling blow to the enemy. Go on this quest to obtain some ancient fireworks, which we'll use to torch those zombies. We will need to obtain them from Sensei Explody Boom himself. Defeat him and return with the materials. Let's go. So Spec Ops, I think, is going to be the th what we did earlier on. So I should be able to bring in some extra uh, allies for support I'm going to stick to my barbecue corn I think the dual cob busters they are fundamentally the same as these just these are sort of spicy hot the ammo values may differ you might get more ammo if you're not setting them on fire which would make a degree of sense I can't guarantee that because well, I can't see an ammo counter here um, on the actual uh, sort of screen showing things. Uh, and his are going to pierce, but what we're um, I'm going to stick to the barbecue corn. I wanted to be the barbecue corn. I'm going to be the barbecue corn. Oh, he's just dropped me off gently. And yes, look, as you can see, different map, which is good. 
but fundamentally the same principle. We'll be growing plant heroes. Uh, let's see, who do we want? I think you've seen the law piece, so let's have the chomper. Let's have let's have that cactus. And finally, is there anybody we haven't seen? Not really. I mean, we've sort of, I suppose, arguably, we've not fully seen the characters because they ran off and did their own thing. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Very nicely sung. I'm clearly couldn't sing myself there because that went all over the place. But I'm not a singer. I'm a. I'm a. I. Okay, there's a depressing thought. <laughs> I, I was going to say I'm a, and then my brain just went, "You're a what? You're a nothing." Oh, get out the tiny violins, everybody and their mother, get out the tiny violins. There you go, you can see my point now. I no longer really have available stuff because I spent it all in that previous previous quest. So what we'll do is I will bring a few bits out, but I won't be quite as generous as that first quest because those consumables are over the entire lifespan of the game. So you, you can replenish them with the sticker collection. You get uh, different different bits and bobs back. But, yeah, you only get a limited amount across the entire modes, all of the modes. I wonder where those ninjas are. I don't know, but I don't really want to face ninjas, so let's not deal in ninjas at the moment. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a statue of Dave, isn't it? Oh, uh, don't get too distracted. Pow, pow! Fucking shoot the assholes! Shoot the assholes! Where are the assholes? I need to shoot you! Pow, pow! Did I, did I pow him? I have loosely powed him. I think he burnt to death more than anything else. Does that actually sound like Tim Paul? I think it does, a little bit. Might be my imagination. I might be I might be seeing tinfoil, therefore hearing tinfoil, which is definitely a peculiar thing. Fire the potato! Bombard! Butter bombardment! I should be shooting as well, but I wanted to I wanted to kind of just enjoy my butter bombardment. <laughs> because the butter bombardment was fun. Uh Need a quick reload and then. Produce! Shut all you sons of. Shut you sons of bitches. Rod and Overus. Fuck you all away, hog. There's apparently more. Oh, where the fuck are they? God, my accuracy is absolutely shocking. But who needs accuracy when you burn them all? Arguably, actually, I should have probably flung off the butter. Because uh, who needs butter? Okay. That's a horrible noise, isn't it? A horrible squelchy noise when he pulls, pulls his little bits, uh, as it were, wherever he pulls his little bits from. I, I dread to think where he would pull his little bits from and why, when pulling his little bits, he gets quite such an immense volume of uh, squelchiness. Can I shoot through my allies? Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. As we've dealt with a wave, I will change over to the chompy plant. Now, I don't actually know what these what those do. They're clearly some kind of ground miney type thing. But I really I genuinely just do not know what the fuck they do. I know what that does. That covers them that covers the special bar and therefore prevents them from uh, using their special. Then as I say the burrow you can um, chomp them up. If you chomp them from behind you chomp them up in one go. So it, it's an, this is an interesting character because you can do some quite nasty things if you can get it all in the right place. 
you can just... Oh, okay, apparently I ate that one as well. Hmm. Interesting. Genuinely was not expecting to eat that one in one go because it looked like he was facing me. So unless he decided stupidly, entirely stupidly, I've just realised we don't have any kind of healer. So I possibly should have chosen my allies a little more uh, cautiously and sort of attentively. Do -do 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 -do. It's time to burrow underground and eat you. Jump, jump, jump. jump. But yeah, I think you can. You can just standard bite, which is it's this thing's standard attack. It's only from the rear, which is why these zombies really shouldn't be allowing themselves to be kind of. I think that's possibly slowing them down as well. The goo, as I, as I was explaining, what the goo does, because I have been on the receiving end of the goo, uh, the goo covers up. You see where it's got the LB, Y, R, B, and all of the uh, special abilities. What, um... Let's fuck him up from below. Oops, yes, there we go. What it does is it covers that gauge. So I don't, I don't know whether that fully sort of... Go oh, it just tangles them up. Sorry. Okay. I will try and get a, a sort of thought track out. Let's start with the goo. So when you fire the goo... It appears as though it's slowing the zombies down for one, and for another, what it does is it covers up your special gauge. Now, I don't know whether that is a case of that special gauge is then null and void. I think that's what it was. But I can't say that for absolute certainty. Uh, I would need to be, once again, on the receiving end of the goo in order to find that out for certain. So the burrow ability is fairly simplistic and easy. Uh, it just allows you to burrow. It hides, I think it hides you from the enemy as well to a certain extent. And then that allows you to do that sort of upward bite. And then those tangle weeds, I'm going to call them tangle weeds. Don't know if that was their official name. But they tangle around the zombie, uh, stopping him from moving it seemed. That's, that's the impression I got. 